an upgrade on your pushing basic strength from the push-up is the dip. And we're going to look at the full technique for that now and some of the things that we want to make sure we do right. And then we're going to look at some of the things we might get wrong so we can make sure we don't do that. So Tim's going to go up to this top position at first. And the very first thing he's doing, arms nice and straight, body in a nice straight line, so core's on, bum's on. He's trying to create this downward shrug. So he's trying to do get his shoulders away from his ears. So he's creating tension through um, the shoulder here to maintain a nice stable uh, position. As he goes down, he's going to lean forward ever so slightly. The body goes in a nice little line forward. That allows the elbow to point backwards and the shoulders to stay in a nice position. And as he drives back up, he keeps that clear. So he's always providing um, force or applying force downwards to create that tension and keep his shoulder and elbow in a good position. If he slumps down and tries to go straight down, the elbow, shoulder stays up by the ear, the elbows force out to the side and that really compromises the position of the shoulder and your elbow. That's going to lead eventually potentially to pain but it's also not an effective movement pattern for producing force. So he cries force down, creating nice bit of tension through the shoulder blades. He's squeezing the shoulder blades back when he's at the bottom, elbows are pointing back shoulders staying away from those ears. Whole time, body stays on that nice straight line and that is how you do the perfect dip. Ring dips are a great advancement on top of our standard dip because of the instability that the ring provides. So because it can move around, you've got to control it. It means that the stabilizing structures around the shoulder, they've got to provide more stability in controlling the ring whilst you're trying to produce force. So what it does is it upgrades our foundation strength around the shoulder so that we can produce or apply more force when we go into more advanced pushing movements in our calisthenics. So it's a great thing to build up to. So it all starts off at the top and getting used to these rings. If you've never been on top of the rings before, when you jump up to the top, you're going to find that with that, uh, the, the, the chance that they're going to move, they're going to dictate that movement to you to start with. You need to get first comfortable before you've never used them before on top of the rings, controlling them. Keep them nice and close to your body, keep them in tight, and then you get started with the same principles as before. We've got a nice active position, downward shrugging, that downward depression, not slumping in, and then also the opportunity to try and turn those rings out a little bit, get a bit of external rotation at the shoulder, driving it down, keeps them nice and set there. From that, Tim's able to drop down into exactly the same thing as with our normal dips, where he drives down, elbows pointing backwards, shoulders in a good position, body in a nice line, and he drives back up. The whole time, as well as applying force to be able to get back up, he's got to control those rings from either moving about or going apart. That is going to train, like we said right at the start, the stabilizing structures around the shoulder to be able to control those rings. That's going to upgrade the stability of the shoulder, which in turn is going to upgrade the strength that you can apply later down the line. One variation on the dip is the straight bar dip and this is something that we're going to need if we're ever wanting to do muscle ups on the bar because it's the final portion of that but we don't introduce it to start with because of the type of position it can encourage the shoulder to get into which isn't the best or most advantageous position we want to be in and the parallel, uh, the parallel dip bars allow us to get that much simpler but once we get confident and comfortable with what you've done on the parallel bars you want to work on the straight bar dip Get a bar that's um, nice and straight. Tim's going to jump to the top of it. And then what he's going to try and do is just because now the elbows are going to want to flare out to the side, he's still got to try and snap the bar to try and encourage the elbows to point backwards so he can control the head of this humerus, the, the, the shoulder into still a good position rather than it jerking forward and the elbow going out to the side. Depth wise, you're looking to try and get your sternum down to the bar and drive back up. You want to make sure you've got the strength and the control on your standard parallel dip bar um, dips before we try to advance onto the straight bar just because of the compromised position you might find yourself in if you're not confident.